Hello. I'm glad it <laughs> melts you with no blood. I'm glad you all can join us. Ryan is about to hop into commentary as well. Uh, this is our first Midwest Modem Melty event. Midwest Modem Melty Monday. And it's where we are. Hello, Ryan. Hello. All right. So this is so. It's as much melty blood as you remember for this event. We got uh, 22, 22 people in this bracket. It's pretty big. Um, please understand this is this is a little low budget for our stream, as is you know melty blood, and as is my first time doing that, doing a stream like this. So if there's any technical difficulties, please please be patient and please let us know if our audio is good. Uh... <laughs> Oh, this stream chat's going to be good. I can already tell. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Well, let's see if we can get our first match going. Let me see if I can get their melty code. That hot melty code. Okay, so our f but our first match of the night is going to be... Let me see. It is... Hamill versus UGS Havard. So I'm gonna put that in. Let me grab that. Oh, okay. Slow. Okay. Net play. Let's hopeful. Hopefully, no. That's I don't want net uh, spectate. <laughs> Excuse me. Again, this is the <laughs> first time I'm running this, so. Let's see. This should be good. Okay, trying. Let's see. Spectate. Hamill versus Havard. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now we've got, here, I'm still updating the top parts, but we've got, to, it seems like we've got Full Moon Tono, we got the Joker Tono out here. Uh, oh, I have to go back to edit this, okay. Player 2 tag real quick. Excuse me. I didn't realize I had to do that. Again, I am still baby with streaming, so please understand. Okay. Yeah, you, they should be good to go. As long as let me. I see a Reese. <laughs> uh, let's see uh, what moon it is. Okay. Waiting on maybe some technical difficulties. I'm not sure. Okay, oh, just wait, wait, they're waiting for a go ahead. go ahead. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. Makes sense, I would much rather have to wait a moment. Okay, F Nero versus F Tono. Um, F Nero, uh, am I getting a crash? What is, I'm not, I, I'm not getting, I, I, I'm not getting any of that. <laughs> F Nero versus F Tono. Oh, there oh, it is. There it is. It's catching there. up. Okay. It's catching up. <laughs> I was like, okay. F Nero versus F Tono. We're all in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let it sink. Okay. Oh. Looks like we're pretty far behind because it's speeding up the sink. Okay, well, I with the match is starting. Hopefully, we we'll maybe have to. Okay, I think we're. Hopefully, oh, okay. Yeah, this is speed commentary. Okay, we're gonna have to make sure we fix this next time. Okay, I'm caught up now. So now we got lots, lots of pressure from Havard, but then we got some chaos 
stuff going on. He's pressing the funny button. Y'all know about the chaos funny button. Is he? <laughs> yeah. These okay, both these players look like they're fairly new with how they're moving around. Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> Oh, we're definitely gonna have to make sure we're all synced up next time on this one. Okay, I think we're finally here. Yeah, ground start. JC gets counter hit and goes through an air throw. Okay. Uh, got a shield, but didn't really get to make good use of it. Hamill's using a lot of 4C, which is uh, normal that a lot of new players uh, tend towards, but it, it tends to be a big trap for new Nero players. Because it's got a very unfavorable hitbox, and the launch, when you combo into it, can be kind of awkward to pick up. Yeah! A lot of, and a lot of, you know, Nero, I think Nero lo always looks fun. He has all these big normals, but they're very dangerous if you aren't using them right. Yeah, Nero's a character that you have to be very careful about the buttons you press, generally, in neutral because of all of the green on your hurt boxes that comes out early. Even though he's got those big, like, powerful normals, you cannot just throw them out. Because if you're any kind of predictable, you can get preempted and really punished for it. Now we've got some stuff going on, but that wasn't. <laughs> we got some very <laughs> banana shiki type pressure going on right now. Yeah. Oh, blood heat. What are we gonna do with it? Just spin in the bar? Yeah, I gotta go to the bar <laughs> store. <laughs> if they do block that stuff over there, that is an unblockable setup for guaranteed damage, but it's not a whole lot, and it's a lot of resources for just a little bit of damage. Alright, yeah. So that first round goes to Hamel. It's round start grab. Round start Powerful. Yep. <laughs> Five V. Kind of interesting the way he's playing this. Yeah. You, you can tell these players are not super comfortable with their characters at, at all. Yeah, but yeah, I also feel like they have an understanding though to be like super safe around each other because not only do they not understand what their buttons are, they also are not too sure of what each other's buttons can do. So it um, definitely leads to some interesting neutral. Okay, so we've got lots more okay, Nero stuff going on. Combo. Yeah. Oh, okay. We got F Tono doing some stuff. It seems like this F Tono doesn't know exactly what entirely links too well into stuff. Yeah, as far as I can tell, uh, they only just picked up the game today. Yeah. We had a couple of people in this bracket like that, which I'm really glad to see because I want to see lots of people come and play this game. But, you know, for having just picked up this game today, they're doing quite well. I think, I a hope that... Hero 4 c can be a pretty strong button if players don't know how to deal with it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and that brings, us, that brings us first round to Hamel. So that, was a, so that was a pretty cool first start. So let's see. So 
definitely looking like a good start to to the night uh next up we do have we have quite i will tell you these are uh quite the names but we're going to we're going we're going to um abbreviate them at our tos at one of the at our TO, one of the names at our tos requests as a s u s <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, Lotus was like, we're not saying that one on stream. This is a family friendly Melty Blood stream. So, yeah, that person versus Nyap Time. So, we're just waiting on our host. Yeah, I know. We are cowards. Talk to the TO about it. <laughs> I want to see uh, Matasso versus Grungra and Ron too. Yeah, Matasso versus Grungra. Yeah, me too. I think that would that I think that would be a pretty good one. Grungra is a pretty good player, and Matasso is. I don't know how long Matasso has been playing Melty, but what I do know is that Matasso just picked up Skullgirls. So that's the community I've spent more with my toes in. So I think that's pretty cool. So okay. I'll definitely put I'll put them on deck. I'll... Okay, let me get in there. Where I don't gonna... know that they've connected to each other yet. Okay. Yeah. Melty blood, everybody. <laughs> no, this is it's, I I I'm I'm joking around, but CC Caster is a beautiful, wonderful haven of just good. It's a blessing that we can play this game in the way that we do. It's not opening. Okay, we're having some technical difficulties, so we'll just keep going. I'll look at some of the more matches coming up. I'm excited to see Duck Aider versus Red Cascade. I think that'll be a good match. Red Cascade is a friend of mine. But also, I love... Uh, it's Duck! <laughs> Duck is a cool local anime player, so I'm excited to see... I kind of want to see that one. Yeah, I'm aware of Duck as a Skullgirls player. I don't know that they've played any multi before. yeah see so. duck actually hasn't played too much skullgirls in a while although i don't know if he's like if he's like if, he, if, if i don't i just think he hasn't played in a while i don't know if he's done the quarantine thing and picked up skullgirls but clearly i mean he's clearly playing some melty <laughs> for the quarantine <laughs> you know but i know that he would play bb tag a lot at the locals i believe so, okay, so I think we can go ahead and connect. Okay, not so in a them. game yet. Can, Oh yeah, I guess we didn't oh, think Duck about. Already played. Yeah, I didn't think about round two. That's all right. You know what? We didn't think of, didn't think about that. Probably should have said. See, now that's for next time. Is if we have this the buys in round two to set it up so that we don't. Okay. Game is open. Try okay. now. Okay. I can get in now. Okay. Melty blood players when the blood doesn't melt. I don't know. I don't play this game. <laughs> Says <laughs> everything whiffs. Okay. Uh, when to leave. Spectating versus mode. Okay. Okay. That's. Uh... 
Aoko versus Nyap. So this time we have, um, I'm updating. The t is my, is my, oh, this isn't showing up on stream. They, uh, they disconnected. The okay, they, okay, I was confused for a moment. I was like, I was like, uh, my stream isn't connecting. <laughs> okay, yeah, technical diff more technical difficulties, folks. This is the first time we're running this. We're definitely going to, tr we're definitely trying out a lot of stuff right now. We're definitely working on it. Okay. Okay. Oh, let me go back to let me go yeah, back what, to that. <laughs> what run to games do we wanna have um, for this game I'm thinking Okay, I'm gonna i I'm gonna talk I'm gonna ask Lotus about that. Ones I see right now are Ada and the uh, Grungra Batasta match. Ooh, oh, yeah, that you... would be good. I do want to see Ada play. <laughs> I love them. Okay. I think Is it working this, now? Okay. I think so. Hopefully this is all good. Okay. Um is my game not it's not cat There it is. Okay. It wasn't cat state. It wasn't catching my game. So on the right, I know that this this per I know that um we're just gonna call them Aoka for now because they're the shortened version of the the longer version of their name uh, we have been told not to put on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I assume it's gonna be Aoka versus. Uh, Nap time. Aoka. Yeah. So let me update the. Numbers. Okay. Okay, okay. what are they doing now? <laughs> they're they're seeing about sync. Sync seems the sync seems good for me. Yeah, it's not playing too fast. All right, we good? I believe so, yeah, we should be good to go. Whenever they are ready. All right. Thank you. Yes, okay. Okay, so yeah, I know that uh, Aoko plays Full Moon, and so in yet time she plays Full Moon Len. We got the Full Moon gang here. Yeah, so depending on how new both players are, I would definitely put this in the favor of F. Alco because F. Alco is one of the stronger new player characters just because she has some fantastic buttons and does quite a lot of damage for not that much effort. Yeah, De I would definitely agree, knowing that... And I know that yeah, he's practiced his combos, so... <laughs> but, yep, I've been seeing she's been practicing the past few days, too, so I do not want to count her out. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. B &B. Yeah, we got combos. What's interesting too is they also both have their set, they're basically set up sort of zoning, whereas Aoko has her orbs, Len has her triangles, so we're gonna have to see how they Doesn't each look use like, that. Uh, Aoko's using orbs all that much though. Yeah. 
And Aoko can't do fireball zoning that well in this matchup because those Doritos do work as reflectors. Yeah. So definitely. Drops the throw combo. Got invalid. Dorito. And the yeah, dude. pressure. Oh, oh but early it's... grab. They were still on grab and from blocks on. So we got some nooch going on here. Oh. Aoko will not let a Dorito stop her. I mean, it's, it doesn't do anything. I'm yeah, <laughs> of course. Or they're in hit stun. Oh, it did reflect part of that blue fire, though, or blue flame. All right, so round one goes to Aoko. Let's see how this goes. I still think this could go either way because both of them know, clearly know some combos, clearly know some stuff. Ooh, counter hit. Naptime's just been dropping a little too often. If Naptime hadn't been dropping her combos, I think she could have taken a lot of those rounds. Yeah, she was definitely getting a lot of confirms, but couldn't really get them anywhere. Dash under. Yeah, and they're both kind of stiff with their options right now. Like, they, they move around and just kind of press things without having too much of an idea of what they can expect to happen. And that's kind of a common thing among new players. Yeah. Ooh, Bottom the throw. Should be, oh, drop. Uh, uh, what are, oh, okay, I wasn't sh That really, <laughs> the end of that could have gone anywhere, but it's defi definitely, if there were less drops, I think that would have been Lens, Nyaps. Yeah, Nav's been finding a lot of hits, but hasn't been getting the conversions to get the damage from them. I'm also not too sure she knows as well how the Doritos work, because I've been seeing sometimes the Doritos come out, and especially then, not sure which Dorito to throw out. Which, that'll just come with time and muscle memory. Yeah. Also, there's been a few times where Nap's gotten a hit, and she had a potential to throw um, Alco into the Dorito, which gives an extension, and she hasn't taken it, so I assume she doesn't really practice that kind of thing all that much, which is a big part of how you play f -Line. All right, so that game goes to Aoko. All right. Our next on stream will be eight, the, the eight, eight of six, at, which the you know everyone's every, everyone's well of uh, everyone's favorite person named Ada who plays C Scion. <laughs> One of the many Adas that play Melty. Yeah. If you play Melty, you probably know at least two people who named Ada. <laughs> if not more. Okay, we've already got... Looks like they've already set up. Let us know when we get to join. They connected. Oh, I mean, they added us. <laughs> they added us, so... Woof. <laughs> uh, I think that means we're good to join. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me get in there. Okay. Oh, 
Onemi is asking for permission to post the stream in announcements in Multicord. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Post it. Post it in Multicord. Go ahead. I I'm not in the main Multicord, but so like that would probably be good. And don't ask don't don't, don't ask me to join the main Multicord. <laughs> Okay, uh, it may be a moment, we may have some pink stuff, so... We're gonna see... Constant problems of netplay tournaments, I want to make sure everything's alright with ping and connections and make sure no one is at from outside the region trying to join yeah we did have it set up so that people who are not within the regions we stated but the thing is is we we're like hey if you're under 50 ping you can join that's why yeah this is a midwest tournament but ada who lives in dc can join because ada has good ping because <laughs> ada has good ping Okay, it looks like the problem was uh, they both had the stream up. Oh. Okay. Okay. I am rehosting. So they both. Yeah, that would that that would definitely do it. I always try to close my stream when stuff like that happens, but um. Yeah, like, I wish that more games would do what Skullgirls just did, which is uh, the Wi-Fi indicator. <laughs> but I guess for Melty, that matters less because there isn't really quick match. And you would hope that people would be truthful and say, hey, you know. And I'm sure Rekar is getting ideas from something. Yeah. Okay, what else do we have? Looking at the bracket. Let me refresh the page. What else do we have going on? What other players? Picasso's opponent got DQ'd. Oh. Hmm. DQ'd, okay. So we're gonna have to see, but we're look looking at who's moving forward and around. I'm also very, I'm also very interested in seeing um, Cushmancer versus Omicron Austin, or I'm not necessarily seeing that on stream because I know we already have stream matches set up, but I'm interested to see who moves on from that. Okay, opening. We should. Let me see if I. That's not. That's not it. Okay. Okay, it looks like they're starting now. Okay. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, uh, it looks like it is having internet. Issues. Ada is having internet issues, so I think we're going to move on to our next <laughs> match. Okay. So we're going to move on to our next match, which is... Um, that is Mecha Alex and Latino Link. We could also go for uh, Grungra and Natasa if we wanted. Yeah, another, another round two, because we... Because...
but I don't know if they started playing because I did tell people to go. I did tell people to go ahead and or we did start doing round two stuff. So I don't know. We'll see after this match. <laughs> Oh, they were already playing. Uh, you hosting? I'm already hosting. Oh, no, no, they no, were no. already hosting. Yeah, we did tell them street. We did tell them for stream queue. So. Okay. We're going to try and not have so many breaks in time between the next few matches, everyone. This is. We're just having some technical difficulties, and that's okay. Okay. Okay, we're good to connect for this one. Finally, we got we got a match going. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in too. So we'll wait a moment. So that's Latino Link. So we got Mecha Alex and Latino Link. So does Sync look good? It's starting to look good. Okay. Okay, let's see who they pick out. You know what you miss out on these netplay tournaments is the fun button oh. checks and seeing what people pick for button checks. <laughs> okay, so we've got Mechanix on FARC, and we've got uh, Latino Link on H Ryugi, the uh, classic new player trap character. <laughs> Okay. These are fairly difficult, but it looks like uh, Mecha Alex is going for the much easier routes. Mecha Good Alex pressure. applying some really Good heavy team. pressure for a good perfect for early on. Latino Ling keeps uh, mashing into those waves, which are very dangerous to get hit by, especially on counter hit. But even on normal hit, those waves deal a ton of damage. Succeed, gets counter hit on the shield. Oh, and another counter hit. Yeah, the mash. Oh, that was quick. Seeing the link keeps uh, mashing this pressure and getting punished for it. Yeah. Mecha Alex clearly knows what he's doing. This isn't his first rodeo. <laughs> yeah, FR has a potentially very difficult character, but F, uh, Alex is keeping it very simple with the combos. Still getting good damage, though? Yeah, ooh, sh making use of a shield. Oh, we got I lots of shields. No <laughs> oh, great. This is a little too slow. Oh, wow. 
combo? Not quite. Or for the overhead, but it was too long into the block string, so it whiffed. Throw combo? Uh, J2B. It's not an overhead, but it caught a mash. Yeah. It seems like Latino Link's starting to get a little more comfortable, but I don't know if it'll... I, we'll have to see if it's enough. Alright, back into the corner. Half charge 5C, caught him mashing again. Yeah. Yep. My Alex is just keeping it simple and letting uh, Latino Link hang himself with buttons. Yeah, you know what? And honestly, that's a very nice good way to play i'd i'd say like it if it works you know what it works i am totally in the camp of like you don't at certain at a certain level you don't need a very special combo you know you it, after a certain level as long as you're able to press buttons it's good okay it looks like we're going to be moving right on to a winner's round three because all of the round twos <laughs> finished up while we were trying to fin while we were trying to finish off so uh -oh. I don't know if, if Lotus wants to play one in particular I actually uh, really want to versus Vanchito? I think so too I think that's a really good one it's a shame we're not gonna get uh Ada versus Duck Hitter yeah well it well it was looking like yeah, like I wish it. I wish Ada didn't have well, the ping Ada issues fully because DQ'd out. fully DQ'd out. I wasn't sure because I saw them in chat saying like my ping got better, but they fully DQ'd out. I don't know if they played yet. It's a shame because I thought Ada had potential to make it to uh, finals. Me too. I think that. Yeah, like, that would just be really good. Ada's Sea Scion is so clean. <laughs> okay, so we're going to see if we can get... I would love to see... Because I, I love seeing Banchito play. Banchito is another local person. He's been putting in the work for about a year now with his Tono, I believe. <sighs> what Tono? I forget which moon he plays. I think it's F-Tono. People are memeing in chat that you left the horror tag on the stream. Oh, I left the horror tag on the stream? Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, no. The, well, I mean, I guess Melty is kind of horror. Um, Round three. Uh, Let's figure out. And on deck, who do we want after that? I'm thinking, I want to see Duck on stream. I think we should put Philly and Duck Duck as our next. Or wait, did we just saw, we just saw, no, we didn't get to see Philly. So I think that we should allow Philly a second chance. What, they didn't start already? Yeah, I don't think they have started yet. Uh, here, yeah. Okay. Now, after this round, we'll actually be at top eight, and at that point, we'll pretty much be running every... Well, not every, every match, but, like, you know, all the top eight matches is our plan, so...
hopefully and hopefully once we get to that point like then we won't have to worry too much about finding matches okay they're in let's see uh still sinking i'm loading in it's like we've got uh C Tono, C Tono. I thought Tundra it was C. on H Satsuki. H Satsuki, fun. Yeah, I I'm love I... in this update. Uh I think I'm yeah, we're good. Yeah, alright. Okay. Yeah, I love I love seeing some good Satsuki play, I'm gonna be real with you. Like I love watching it like I, I just like watching her move. <laughs> Yeah, H is my personal favorite, Satsuki. I really like uh, Charge JB. It's a really strong neutral tool, and H Satsuki's pressure is also the most interesting of the Satsukis, in my opinion. Yeah. And oftentimes she kind of gets, I feel like she gets cast out to the side a little bit, but, like, she's a very solid character. Satsuki is one of those fortunate characters where all of their moons are quite good. Yeah. Grunga coming out with the charge JBs early. It's a very strong neutral tool and it can be hard to navigate if you're not super familiar with the matchup. Ooh, punished on the uh, armor. Oh, more counters. Banshido putting up all that pressure in the corner. Yeah, Banshido playing very clean right now. Ooh, the Rod JC connects. Ooh. Proper combo, good knockdown. Waited too long on the Oki and got mashed out though. Good eight. instant J interrupt. Benchita looking very comfortable in this neutral actually. Yeah, this is like Benchito is completely understanding that like Satsuki can just throw out that throw out stuff at certain ranges and just stay in out of them. It's really well. Benchito right. is able to mash out that Oki because it was a little bit off timed and he recognized it. Good he got himself out of the corner, but let's hope he now he's back in the other corner, so. I've been playing with this pressure now. Ooh, uh, the command. <laughs> He's out. It's a play. It's a J. No counter hit. So you can't do it. Good it's a body anti air 5A. And she doesn't comfortable on the neutral, but it's kind of crumbling in the pressure. Yeah, but if he gets his pressure started, he see he really knows what he like. He really knows what he's doing. He can really keep it. But yeah. if he can keep control of the match, it seems like he can win. But he's really having a hard time once he actually gets hit and knocked down. Yeah, I got hit by the delayed charge 5C. It doesn't look like he's very sure on what is going on with Sasuke's pressure. And like, yeah. the, the idea of what the normals can be. Alright. Gunga went for a greedy any or shield there and got punished for it. Ooh, got yeah, hit by the charge. <laughs> Alright, Gunga's pressure started, wake up shield Ooh. into DP. <laughs> Gunga just wasn't ready to punish that shield and then got caught. Near guard break, ooh, dangerous. DP, no punish. Wow. Ooh, okay. Couldn't get, couldn't connect that, but... Yeah. Looks like, uh, Benchito's getting a little flustered. Still looking fine in the neutral for the most part, though. It's just once, uh, Gengar gets started. Really yeah. Awesome. He doesn't really uh, he doesn't really know how to deal with Satsuki's pressure once 
she's got it going and hasn't really figured it out yet, it seems. Yeah, he's trying to rely on shield because he doesn't know any other good ways out or where the gaps are. Okay, well it seems out, like, yeah, he's starting to learn, but I, I hope, I hope it's enough though. Mm. Yeah, this is looking like it's gonna be rough for him. This, from what I'm seeing, it seems like it might eventually go a lot more even or maybe in his favor in like a longer set, but he just doesn't know the matchup well enough to do well in the short set. Yeah. And that that means that round goes to Grungra. That was real. That was that was a really good set. <laughs> Damn, I quite enjoyed that. Okay, next on stream we have. Billy versus Duckator on stream. Very interested to see this match too, because I, because I'm very curious. I haven't heard too much about Philly. BFGC, I believe that was. So I'm very curious to see what this one's going to look like. Curious to see how uh, Duck Hitter plays right now in Nulti. So. I believe I was he... looking a little bit at, I was trying to see earlier, I was like, who, do, who does he play? And I think he plays the maids and he's Sui Sea Moon, I believe. So. Oh, uh, sea maids. Yeah, <laughs> or yeah, like it was looking, it's looking pretty clean. Okay. It'll be interesting to see because I'm gonna be kind of imagining what uh, the match versus Ada would have been like. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I want like I that would <laughs> that would have been something I really would have liked to see. I hope that Ada's internet isn't bad when we run this again next week because that would that would be really nice if we could get some Ada matches on stream uh So chat, how are you enjoying this tonight? How's it how's it going? <laughs> Lotus says, uh, awful, I'm running a tournament. I wonder what tournament, I wonder what tournament he's running. <laughs> Alright, looks like we can spectate now. Alrighty. Oh, they already went in game. Oh, okay. Okay, it's uh, F Nania versus C Hisui. Okay. So here we'll try and get in. That's there's probably gonna be some catch up. I think I'm gonna Okay. I'm gonna go wait, I'm gonna push it back so we can sync up a little better. Yeah. Duck's okay. looking for some uh clean dust pressure right now and he's starting to take over with this corner partner with the bento. It's the throw. Looking five A a lot. Looks like Philly BFGC is not really sure what's going on with this C-Sweet pressure. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, BFGC looks like he's not super familiar with uh, Ethnonia considering he isn't doing the uh, multiple DP combos, just going for a straight single DP into air throw. DPs are working out a lot though. <laughs> See if Duck can turn this corner pressure into a game again. We're looking like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the bento box. <laughs> yeah, Philly BFGC is very paranoid about that bento. Yeah. Really doesn't know that much about the matchup. Yeah, it's something you gotta be aware of, but it's not the end. It shouldn't be the end of your world. <laughs> Duck's really trying to use the dust control space. Alright. I believe the FTC has been getting a lot of hits, but the lack of combos has really been hurting them. Yeah. I can tell there's definitely the shell of someone who's good, who could be really good at F Nanaya here, but there's just not the combos. <laughs> Sucks combos is looking good though. Oh yeah, very clean. Yeah, DP, DP out. out. Ooh. This is an air throw. Sweeps projectile there where she just throws stuff is deceptively strong. At yeah, space. she can do a lot of different versions based on what direction you hold after doing the quarter circle, and what space it controls is very different between the versions, so it can be awkward to play around because you're not really sure what version's coming when she starts up the animation. Yeah, you can't really be ready for it, and you just gotta react to however many different Hisui items there are, you know? Overhead teleport. I believe you should see is really having fun with Nanya's movement, but... Yeah, that's... There isn't enough reward on the options they're looking for. And the overhead pan. Takes it. That does it for Duck. Okay. Okay, who do who are we gonna have up next? We're already into well we sh yeah, we're already into our top eight. So next on stream. Next on stream, we're going to have Grungra versus uh, Omicron Austin. Yeah, it looks like for our top eight winners, we've got Grungra, Omicron Austin, and Duckator and Nuck. Okay, let me make sure. Oh, it was not. Okay. Eight losers are still filling out. Yeah, we will hopefully will be hopefully by the time we get through by the time we get to uh by the time we get through set the round for these two round four matches and semifinals, losers will have caught up. Looks like Okay.
Okay. Let's see, looks like we're getting in there. So we got another match with Grungra, so more, we get to see some more, some more Satsuki, I assume, or, or Miyako, I don't know, Mi Full Moon Miyako, okay. <laughs> and then... Alright, it looks like I'm synced up now. I am synced up as well, so I'll give them the okay to go. And let's get right on to some more Melty Blood. Oh, my stream set. My stream layout's doing weird things. Okay. Alright. Fmiakko versus Fmiakko. This is going to be an extremely explosive matchup. Both yeah! Can just destroy the other on like one or two touches. Alright, Miyako. Oh, no complete. Alright. Corner out? Oh no. Ooh, right back into the corner with it. Alright, there we go. There's a full combo. <laughs> sure, but just any touch will do it now. If that depends. Oh, yep, never mind. <laughs> JC. Or not JC, JB. Ooh, grab right, right into a combo. Upper corner combo? Yes. Ooh, using a instant... that... skill using a special yeah. to get out of the corner. Good idea. The initiative heat mix up there didn't work out, but it was interesting to go for. Yeah. Alright, bubble ender into heavy pillar. Not seeing any uh, pits from the Viakia yet. Er, yeah. Uh, it just looks like uh, Gringer's Miyako is cleaning up. Yeah! Yeah, it looks like the Avgaka just isn't super familiar with how to play the character and is trying to rely on the pillar in neutral. Yeah. And Grungra is that? really taking advantage of that, but hmm. All right, well, we've got some fits now. Okay. It looks no like though. that was the right idea, but just didn't quite do the combo correctly. Yeah. Six K. It's nearly seven K. Wow. Bernie's looking for that uh, charge four C a lot. Surprising. Oh, just got a hit. This should kill. Oh yeah. Yes. I think it just took Omicron Austin a little bit more, a little bit of time to get into into their jam, but it seems like they're starting to get into it. We got some combos. Alright, yeah, we're getting some cool stuff now. Okay. Wow. Did they have to get used to the connection or something? Yeah. Bunker's out of that. Still getting hit by a lot of random uh, JBs and JCs though. You can't afford to be getting hit like this against Miyako as Miyakia just explode. <laughs> oh, throw on the wake up shield. Good knockdown. I'll take this one combo for both players to win this. Ooh, that that was close. 
See, it just took it. <laughs> see, it took it took Omicron Austin just a little bit too long to get to really get into their jam of that. I think if they, I think if they, obviously it was one hit away from another game. Yeah, so but the players just needed one touch at the end there. All right, next up we got Duck Aider versus Mecha Alex. So some more Duck Aider on stream. Maybe we'll see admit some more Hisui. <laughs> Okay, this time we'll be joining when the when ducks at the character select screen. <laughs> nothing, nothing against that. Just some good fun. All right. So see he sweet versus F Art. All right, I'm very curious to see this match because Mecha Alex has had some really clean play, some simple combos, but really just clean play in his last stream match. Where uh, and I mean Duckator as well. Like both of them are pretty, both of them are pretty solid, and I'm curious to see what they're gonna what they're gonna do. Yeah, it might be difficult for FR to leverage the waves in neutral. Yeah. Um, because of Hisui's uh, dust and uh, just throwing random things. All right. Gotta say, that art color is really nice, too. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. Yeah. It is definitely to Mecha Alex's benefit to get in before Hisui can do her yeah. shit. Like, <laughs> is still a big fan of using the dust in neutral. Good pressure, though. And keeps getting the hits. Yeah, wow. Benta Oki? Oof. <laughs> I've got him to whiff a shield when counter hit by the Benta. Yeah, Duck Hitter really likes the 5A after the Benta because he knows that people aren't really going to be mashing there because it's so dangerous. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Initiative V really paying off for uh, Alex there. Yeah. We'll have to see if it was enough, though. Does pressure? Ooh, Ooh all right. Hit. Steals the round with that initiative V. Ooh, the meaty wave gets it. Alex is a big fan of that J2B when looking for Oki because of looking for people matching the 2A. Yeah. Got Vanier 5B. Oh, wow. It's and then just the throw to finish throw. it. Power that was powerful. Ugh. I don't know if Duck will let that sit. You know, you just get thrown at the end of the round. Well, 
her out. Should counter. All right, Alex has been doing well with this pressure. Oh, got pushed out into the dust and punished. Didn't last that long though, it immediately got pressure back. Let's see what Duck can do with this Bento Oki. Oh! oh. I nearly got the unblock pull, but the heat out. This is gonna kill. That FR card unblock pull is so slow. It's very difficult <laughs> to catch the one with it. Typically, the way you get hits with that usually is by half charging it and then catching people trying to get out. The actual full unblock pull is just so difficult to land. Oh, yeah. It's really a this shit. Ooh, perfect. Wow. That, that, oh wow, that match is over. That goes to Mega Alex. <laughs> I kind of blinked and didn't really. Every mix up works out. The yeah. It's very long. All right. Well, who do we have up next? I have to see. Um, I don't know. I think we might actually, hmm. I kind of, I think. I have to talk to Lotus. I believe the plan was to save winners finals for a little bit because I well, think like we were talking about. All filled out now. Yeah, the losers rounds yeah. all filled out, so we should be able to run yeah, that because we were finals. saying because winners finals we were talking about doing best of five, then winners losers finals and grand finals best of five. So, all right, we're gonna when we're gonna do losers. The first up we're going to have is going to be Banchito versus Latino Link. All right, my instinct would say that Banchito is probably going to take this based on what we saw with Loki Flares earlier. Yeah, Banchito definitely has the cleaner play. He definitely, that C, C Tono is incredibly, is incredibly clean, and I think that... Latino Link's at a bit of a disadvantage here, but you know, commentator curse. Yeah, also, who knows? Uh, Latino Link might have cleaned up their play while playing in losers. We don't. Maybe they were just kind of not super comfortable with the connection in the earlier match. Okay. Now let's see. See, I'm excited for this match, but I'm also excited for the next match too because it's Cushmancer, who is also known as Young Trap Lord, who is also known in the Chicago FGC as Pat, who's a pretty good player, versus Wishcraft. So I'm I'm also very excited for that match match. <laughs> but this match is gonna be good too. <laughs> There are like seven pats in the Chicago FC. <laughs> There's <laughs> seven pats, damn. <laughs> well, I'm thinking of the ginger pat. <laughs> Sea Tunnel versus Atrugi. Ah, uh, it's time for a battle of characters named Cheeky, a common Melty Blood tradition. <laughs> I'm starting to uh, 
Alright, I'm I'm fine now. Alright. Leo gets the first hit. And takes full advantage of that. Oh, Latino Link got a couple combo. of loose hits, but... Alright. Getting part of the way through the combo. <laughs> Looks like I think I'm like starting to go for the simpler combos instead of the fancier Atriugi combos. There's nothing wrong with a simple combo. If it helps you get that damage. Ooh, DP on wake up. The problem with the really simple combos with this character is you lose a huge part of her damage, which is one of the big appeals of H Ruby over the other moons. Yeah. And if you're just going for the simple route, uh, the other moons really outshine H. You kind of need the execution on H to make her better than the other ones. <laughs> Benchito getting in that damage right off the bat. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Hitboxes! <laughs> Came out the wrong way after the cross up, but it didn't matter. Yeah, Latino Link's just struggling to get a full combo, and it's really been a problem because Benchito has just been able to not deal with any Oki because of it. Right as we say that. <laughs> but yeah, no, Latino Link is really struggling to get out that damage, and just like Benchito is having a lot better of a time getting out the damage. Hold through? Uh, didn't quite get the pickup. Did that JC a little too early to get the 2C pickup. That's gonna be the game. Banshido takes the first round. Hmm. Just the tech out to enforce C. That's interesting. Oh, I didn't get the OTG with the 236 c Oh, no knife. It's gonna be a problem for the Legion of Link. H. Rugi is really all about that knife. Yeah, uh, that's gonna be really hard to get back, especially when it's in the corner. Alright, Circuit Spark. The Banshee can almost, if he plays this right, just never make that knife available to Latino Link. Yeah. Loads oh, on the ahead. pressure. Ooh. Takes the round. Yeah, Banshee is just. Much cleaner than Latino Link in the play right now. No tech, gave Banshee the knock away. Oh, drop the combo. Ooh, that could have been it, but Banshee to drop it with the 5A instead of a J. And ends it Enjoy with a throw! <laughs> Clean! Alright. That run goes to Banchito. Knocking Latino Link out of the competition. So next up on stream, we have Kushmancer420 versus Wishcraft. So that will be... That'll be exciting. I'm definitely excited to see this match. I believe... I forget... I haven't seen Pat play in a while because obviously, you know, we've been in quarantine and I think the last couple of locals he wasn't really at. But Kushmancer, he... Last time I checked, he played one of the Akihas. So that'll be... I believe, Actually, yeah, I believe it was Akiha Vermilion. So that'll be... That'll be more fun to see some more V Akiha. If that's how I remember it. <laughs> Very explosive character.
Lo yeah, Lotus said Akiha, so... All right, let me get in there. And to that melty code. Hot tip to anyone listening. This is the best way, the best way to uh to um get with someone is to drop drop your melty code in their DMs. That's certified. Would recommend. Because if they're not going to play melty blood with you, what's the point? Yo, wait, is that Red Arcoid? Oh, uh, oh, Kohamek! All right, I was almost excited to see some some Red Arcoid because I love playing see Red Arcoid. Uh, is my game capture not coming through? I am uh, not able to load into the spectator. I'm having trouble getting it to stream, so I think there might just be something wrong with the with the lobby. We might have to rehost. I was able to get it to work just reconnecting. Okay. I might just have to let me see. Yeah, it might just be what I have to do. <laughs> it might have just been a weird, funky moment. Okay, let's see. It crashed on me again. Oh, okay. Well, I'm still... Here, let me see if I can still connect into it. <sighs> Technical difficulties. Okay, I was able to just get back in, so I don't know if it's showing through my... It doesn't seem to be showing through my... There it is! Okay, it's showing through my stream. Try, re try reconnecting if you haven't. Yeah, I reconnected. Okay, I'm gonna wait through this to okay sync so a little far. bit. I kind of like that Akiha color. I haven't seen that, seen a whole lot of that one. That say uh, color, that's very nice. Yeah, bring it Cisse or Sage Kohamek. Two very strong characters, both of which are kind of notorious for just kind of just do it, Oki, that you don't really have to do anything about to make it good. Yeah. Tanaki with her uh, pits and uh, Sokode. <laughs> spike ball which spike ball will very nearly play the game for you it is such a ridiculous tool yeah okay i see I, i'm getting to a point where i'm struggling to tell if i'm still sinking or if it's or if that's just how fast they move <laughs> no, I, i'm still sinking I think yeah okay it's then I'm probably we're still thinking too. So long we're still kind of catching up. Yeah, as fast as we can get. Oh yeah, Benchito. Looking at the floating words in the background, I can definitely tell. Cause like I'm just like, do the sprites just move that fast? <laughs> but like you look at the words in the background and you're just like, ah. Oh. oh, I'm caught up. Are you? Uh, I am not, but I probably will be soon. Okay. It's the problem for when you have a couple problems. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm caught up now. Alright. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's just going super fast. Okay. It's so down. Okay. Yeah. I've got some normal stuff. Co we got our friend Kushmed to really putting in the pressure, putting in those spike balls, making good use of them. Wish really? Because I thought, because it's on. Because I have it looking at yeah. Because wishes, it says wishes on player one side. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Unless it, unless unless um, CC caster has it wrong. I don't know though. Uh, yeah, wish is CC. Okay, wishes CC. say. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought because because I was like CC caster was telling me that. Anyways, wish seems to be getting started. Yep. Getting that getting back for last round. <laughs> okay, let's see if the Soccer Days can play the game. Soccer Day is just an extremely notorious tool because of how strong it is. It's one of the few tools that are really like disjointed from your character that are air blockable. And the other notorious one for that is Zero Orb, and everyone knows how crazy that one is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, spike ball. No spike ball to see. It's a knockdown, but no combo. Yeah, so good. It's possible to connect or get a combo off of those random Sokode connects, and it's what makes, uh, say, so strong. Because you can just be playing around, like, in the air, throwing out Sokodeas, and if someone just happens to get clipped, you can just get a full combo, take them to the corner, go for a pit, and start doing some really rude Oki. <laughs> All right, Wishcraft seems to kind of getting started on pressure. It seems like everyone's having a little trouble, but Kushmetsu yeah, seems to the connection. Spike ball. Spike ball has not really done anything in this match so far. It's been everything else that's been working out. Yeah, Kushmetsu yeah, yeah. used it a little bit at the beginning of the first match, but hasn't really seemed to. Get it out well since. Ooh. Yeah, Wish just isn't really getting the confirms off the sucker day that they need. Cross up on the tech. Oh, drops the combo Ooh, to get the charge JC. But still gets. This neutral seems to be very awkward between the spike balls and the suck of day. It's kind yeah. of awkward for both both players to move around. There's so much each of them has to worry about because of that. Because they're both just weird, sort of, neutral tools when used against each other. Yeah, that 5v in here has been really paying off for Treplard. Wish seems to be getting... Getting that damage in. Yeah, yeah, we've got a full combo there into the Ooh. pit oak. Ah, uh, drops the confirm on the pit connect though. Accidental back dash of the air counter hit too. The small mistakes have been really working against Wish. Yeah. Because I think both of them have been playing incredibly clean, but every little mistake Wish has been making. Trap Lord has been taking ex major advantage of. Yeah, there, there is a spot where the spike ball really played out. Yeah, I tried to end here. Oh, there we got caught by the JC. 
Well, that couldn't get next. Yeah, not quite able to get these confirms on the random hits. Oh, it took too long in the string to get the combo. Uh, couldn't get the confirm. Yeah. Uh, yep. I wish him playing the neutral correctly, but just small mistakes and small drops really cost them a lot of damage over the course of that set. Yeah, Trapler really just knew how to take advantage of every little mistake that Wish was making, even though Wish, even though Wish was having, was really once Wish got her pressure started, it was like, you know, she got some damage in, but she just wasn't able to keep it going. Okay, who do we have next on stream? Uh, Duck Gator versus Banchito. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. <laughs> I'm very excited to see how Banchito deals with Duck Gator's Hisui items and all that stuff, all the fun stuff. get through the list so we're gonna play out the rest of losers until we can't once we get to so after these next two matches once i believe so no that's we wouldn't be in losers final so yeah the next the next round is still best of three okay yeah after this one we're gonna have omicron austin versus trap ward so that'll be that'll be another good match that <laughs> there's that viakiha you know Chad is talking about playing Nekos. I think yeah. that's really cursed. <laughs> Do it's, not play Nekos. <laughs> C-Nex moves are all much worse than they appear. Their hitboxes are just extremely unfavorable. The, the way c -Nex players win is either they know much more about the matchup than you, or they're gimmicking you out. Sinako is a considerably better character than Sinak. Yeah. Okay, I think we're all caught up on stream. I think we can go give the go ahead. really getting started with that pressure on early. Banchito doesn't really seem to be able to get out of it. Alright, I'm caught up. Alright. Banchito Ducks doesn't pressure? seem too sure how to deal with Duck's pressure. Well, right now Duck's doing very clean pressure that doesn't have a whole lot of holes, but also doesn't have much of a mix-up. So blocking there is pretty much the correct option, but yeah. it's just kind of hard. Because Banshee does so long well life, it's a lot, there's a lot of incentive to take a risk there. Yeah. Round 
Round start throw into Bento. Shoots the DP, gets a Bento combo. Manchito seems to be getting his. getting back yeah. into it. Seemed like he was looking a little. Uh, figuring out where I mean, to find those breaks in pressure. The consistent thing with Manchito in this uh, tournament so far has been he does fantastically in neutral and then doesn't do so well once he's getting pressured. Alright. Oh, no punish. That was an awkward confirm there. Venture didn't realize that he was going to get crossed under there. Ooh. Just got caught by the arc drive. Yeah. Ooh, Venture okay. Keep the life in the heat. Didn't get the confirm from the dive knife, though. Yeah, that probably could. If he, if he had been able to get that, it would have been there then. then. Oh. One more hit from either of them, we'll have the match. Yeah. I'm waiting for the throw from Duck. Didn't come, though. Oh, there yeah. it goes. Benchito taking think, that round. Yeah, I think Duck was better off trying to win off that uh, pressure sequence than going back to neutral because benchito has been consistently getting a few more stray hits in neutral than he has. Yeah. Alright, Benji is getting started again. Stunk between the dust and that, but Duck was <laughs> way too early with that throw and got punished. Dive knife? Yeah, one of C Tono's major problems is. He doesn't really have good ways of mixing you up beyond his overhead, which is kind of slow and telegraph. Let's see if. Ah! Uh... I mean, that, well, that's totally see. fine. Yeah. That was a like... totally fine spot to get a hit. Okay, okay. Who's who's gonna get the hit? Super and it was Banchito. Super used getting those dive knives. Yeah, takes the game, though. Yeah. Banchito continuing to win off good neutral. Yeah, now Duck's starting to drop a few combos, and Benchito is just not doing that. Yeah, Benchito, Duck seems to be getting a little tired, and he's also, and Benchito's also, he's learning, you know, he's, fi he's figuring out, hey, like, what's going on with this Hisui? Where can I? Yeah. figure out these the pressure and he's really taking that, advantage that of it far, ex shield yeah. yeah Vincito's starting to do a lot more on defense and duck hasn't quite adapted to uh the changes we'll have to see punish on the shield otg uh, already spent all of this uh, RTG zone. Dive knife? Oh wow, dive knife yeah. into the low. You can shield the dive knife after the super flash, but I don't think Duck knows the matchup that well. You don't see C Tunnel very often, so it's not surprising that someone wouldn't know the matchup. Yeah. But clearly, C Tono suits Benchito very well. Full <laughs> <laughs> focus character. Alright, 
Okay, Bento OP? Attack. Good tech. Yeah. Not getting out of this corner so easy, though. Man, she does close to heat. Not quite there, unfortunate. And Cheeto is taking advantage of that health regain so that he can be yep. in more advantageous. Ah. Uh, but Duck I'll doesn't care. Two, yeah, Duck does not care that you have healed all your health. He's <laughs> gonna just take it all back from you. <laughs> Dark's starting to come back in this. Yeah, he's starting to play more aggressively, a little more risky to try and take, try and take it back, cause can only can't can't lose this round <laughs> if he wants to stay in the mat, if he wants to stay in the tournament. Dark's been really leveraging that arc drive to get in, just to not have to play neutral against Banchito. Confirm puts Benchido in a really nice spot, especially with how low meter duck it. We counter hit, it's confirmed. Benchido only needs one more real touch. Oh, the heat's gonna be a problem. Yeah. Puts him right back in the same situation, though. Yeah, if he can get one touch, it's over. Oh, oh, dive kick, but... Gets... It looks like he might have hit, but the angle wasn't right. Yeah. Because that's clearly with the 5A there. Ooh. That gets started. Mm. Oh, wow! <laughs> The and got hit by the second hit. Oh, that man. was impressive. <laughs> I, feel <bad> <laughs> I feel bad about that. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> man, Cheeto with those big brain plays. <laughs> the robbery. <laughs> All right, we doing more losers? Yeah, we, we have more? we have Omicron Austin versus Kush versus Cushmancer, so Pe Trap Lord, and then after that we have the winner of this match versus Banchito. So. Yeah, so we'll have the winner of this of this match versus Banchito, and then we'll have after that. That will be when we go back to winners, and we'll go back to and we'll go play winners finals. And the, and once we hit winners winners finals, losers finals, grand finals, those will be best of five, I believe. I believe that's what me and Lotus agreed on. So. He started this at what eight o'clock? Hey, this stream has it. Oh, yeah, it's a, it has, it's only it hasn't even been two hours yet. This hasn't been too long. Looking at looking at the time, because so, cause you because like how, with how many you know with how many matches we've had and the technical difficulties we've had, I'd say we're doing pretty good on time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm all synced up.
All right. Okay. All right. Some Nero. Have we seen Nero? Really? Trap Lord switching to to Nero. It seems like. Yeah, if Nero versus Afiakia. This will be so fun. Another explosive matchup. Afiakia doesn't have the best ways of dealing with Nero once he's in, but it's going to be very hard to get in as a hero in this matchup. Yeah. Okay, it looks like I'm still sinking, so we'll just wait a moment. Okay, we're good. Go ahead. Alrighty. People spamming half emotes in chat. JC. Right. Yeah, that. Early. I feel like it was gonna be a big problem for Nero in this matchup, though. Yeah. Nero's movement is very stiff on the ground, and it's gonna be very difficult for him to uh, avoid that play. Ooh, some big, quick, heavy pressure from the Akiha that first round. Gets a connection with the crow. Not quite a confirm, but got the hit anyway. Just Look, all you crow. gotta do is just press JC. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. that's what. It's been working. <laughs> Try comp with a pillar, but the antlion saved him. Nothing after that air dash and got punished for it. Smashed your way, worked out, gets a kill. Akiha getting in the damage. Teleport, teleport. Oh, yeah. but still punishes. <laughs> still takes. That's very risky to go for because Nero is punishable after that death. <laughs> it's kind I... of punish it and <laughs> just having some fun. Yeah, I think Trap Lord's messing around a little bit. <laughs> But let's see if Omicron yeah, Austin it's takes. Like that it is not very real. Nero is very punishable after the teleport, but it can be a little awkward to do it. And it clearly, Tsuyaka uh, is not super familiar with punishing it. Ooh! Wow! <laughs> this is kind of bully. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the teleport is full and full during the actual animation, but it has a period afterwards that it's punishable. All right, let's see what Omicron Austin does to try and deal with the silly F Nero stuff. Alright. Getting started, overhead. 
This is the moment you loop. Second try. Uh. All right, we got Momoji. Tough ball takes the round. Shot forward is having some fun with the uh, unfamiliarity with the Nero matchup earlier, but you can't do that forever. Yeah. It seems like Omicron Austin has quickly learned to understand what's how to deal with a lot of Nero stuff, but I don't know if yeah. if they if they if they can't beat out the damage, it's not. <laughs> Finish the combo, under. Ether under is not what you want with that character. But it worked anyway. Missed the x buff ball under. Oh boy, we're off for some more teleport shenanigans. <laughs> Look, I if you... I mean, if it's working, I suppose. Yeah. I really doubt that's gonna work on someone who knows how to deal with that, but... For now... When you have the information that they don't. Yeah. Just to confirm on the JB. Didn't get the last hit, so I couldn't control off that JC. Yeah, Omicron Alex really trying to avoid actually dealing with Nero and just trying to use Pillar and other options to kind of play a distant game. Finally gets that there. hidden. I think that's actually the first time all day we've had more than a two. We we didn't have a two zero <laughs> on stream at least. I'm sure in the, in the matches there is. I'm sure in the bracket there is somewhere else, but. I mean, I don't. Maybe I don't remember it. I don't know. Not looking back here, right? Actually. All right. Shop for not able to just abuse match of familiarity as easily anymore. Yeah. All right. Okay. Ooh. Reversal bees. Doesn't get the combo though. Bees is an interesting reversal option because it comes out extremely quickly, but it isn't involved. But you can often reliably get a trade. Yeah. Let's... And line saves him from the combo. Both of them seem to be struggling to get in anything on each other this match, but. We'll see. Getting started. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the grab. We're way too but back into the corner. The this is going to be difficult to play out as the Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is the one that decides it. The round point, match point. And Trap's going into this with a huge meteor advantage. Yeah. Oh, some Lumber G loops here. <laughs> got it out with just that trade. That's actually totally fine, but then you got hit again. Fiaki has but some really good pressure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Wow, that was that that last round was a good last round down for Omicron Austin. Really, really good pressure there. Okay, who is up next? Okay. That was an interesting game. Yeah, I I don't know how seriously Trap Lord was taking that. It especially because I I don't know how many characters I don't know how many characters Trap Lord plays because clearly playing so clearly picking up some uh <laughs> clearly throwing around with some F Nero isn't supposed to be. All right, looks like we're going to be playing winner's finals. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're trying to figure it out. Yeah, no, we're going to play losers round six because what we're going to do is then the next, the net, the last three, then after this, we'll only have three more and then they'll all be bet the best of five ones. So winner's finals, then loser's finals, then grand finals. All right, so we're gonna get Bancho versus Omicron Austin. That'll be that'll be fun. I want to see how. Uh, I don't know how well Omicron Austin is gonna deal with Banchito's neutral. Like Omicron Austin seemed to be struggling a little bit there with that in these past few matches. So I wonder, I wonder how well that'll be. But if Omicron Austin can get the pressure started. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, they're in. Okay. Omicron Austin in chat. I don't even play this game. I think that's the story of quarantine is pl everyone's playing a lot of games that are like that ain't even I don't play this game. Oh, never mind. They said it was their main game. But I still but still I think that's the story. Like earlier today Sejam was streaming Skullgirls. Like that's <laughs> it's the story is playing <laughs> all these games, you know. Right. That you can actually play online. Okay, waiting on sync. Oh, that's still up to date. Omicron Austin is still on the right side. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, did this? I did, did the sync catch up for you? I've been synced for a bit now. Okay, I'm good. All right. This is the last two out of three. Yeah. Yes. This. Yes. This is. I believe. Yeah. So this. Yeah. This is the last losers match. After this, we go on to winners. So. All right. Let's see how Banshee deals with uh, Afiakia. The Sephiakia uses a lot of pillar, but doesn't leverage uh, puffball in neutral the way you see a lot of Viakias use it. So it should be a little bit easier for uh, Banshee to uh, play around neutral than against some. Well, just as I said that, they went for a immediate puffball. Drop the Momiji. 
Look for an uh, air dash mix up after this and got it. Quick round. Yeah, Omicron Austin took big advantage of getting in quick and applying all that pressure. Oh, there, there's you that. <laughs> there's that wonky hitbox again. Unfortunately, the Akia's low health isn't really a huge deal for uh, Sitano because his damage is not that great anyway without really optimal combos. Yeah, so it, Banchito has to win in neutral even less. So that's getting those stray hits even less than he already is good at, so... This does seem to be another case of the Banshee match where he's winning in neutral, but then he gets some pressure and has a bad time. Yeah! <laughs> got out there, though. No, I got caught by the pillar. C pillar. C pillar isn't great for uses like that because it moves so slow. Yeah, it's good. It's good on like an approach, but like, or like good at like just throw it, just throw it out to give out some extra something to think about. But Alright. Alright. Pop wall knockdown. It's the mix. Just a pillar. Oh, Crown Austin has been going through that setup very particularly quite often. And it seems like it's got a lot of time after the pit sets where they can get out. Yeah. So more aware players have just kind of backed out. Ah, oh, can't be hitting buttons there. <laughs> Yeah. A lot of Viakia happening there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Banchito couldn't get. Banchito just could not escape that pressure. I'm slightly and... disappointed we didn't get any uh, Viakia copy pasta in the chat. Yeah. All right, winners finals. Yeah, we're on to winners finals. Grunga, Grunga versus Mecha Alex. Very curious to see how this one will go as well. Uh, people don't know the FBI Kia copy pasta. <laughs> I'm not sure. I actually want to know. It says. Someone I in think, chat, that's good. I forget where it started, but I, I remember seeing it first on uh, Melty Brazil stream. <laughs> All right. Seems like we're ready. So these matches are best of five from here on out. So first to three. Whoever, so we there get some is. nice, some nice longer sets. There, there's the coffee pasta. 
Ah, there it is. <laughs> if no one's used that copy pasta in like four years. <laughs> Okay, I'm synced up. Are you good? Uh, yeah, I'm good. All right. FR versus Atro. Oh yeah, Atro. We haven't seen we haven't seen Grungra playing Roa all tournament. Cause Grungra was playing someone else earlier. I already forget. <laughs> But we definitely haven't seen their Roa, so... Definitely Petra cute. is an interesting character. He's got a lot of cool tool tools with Sokodara, but he doesn't have high damage except off very specific confirms. He can struggle to get decent damage off his most common hits. Yeah, <laughs> Sokodara. <laughs> yep. So the gimmick with Sokodara is there's two versions. There's the B version, which is plus on block, and it has a bit of a startup to it, and you can faint it like that. And there's the A version, which is very quick, but punishable. Yeah, and as we can see, uh, Mecha Alex is really trying to punish and get out of these, but yeah. doesn't seem to be doing it, doesn't seem to be able to get any hits out. Yeah, this does look pretty laggy. Oh, yeah. Is a guard break? No. That's ca that, that'd be odd, because both of them have had fine connections earlier. I wonder if they're just far from each other. <laughs> now Mecha Alex seems to be kind of getting some stuff in, but seems to be dropping a little bit. Well... Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be awkward to play the neutral as an arc here because H Rose neutral just kind of doesn't have to deal with FRX waves because H Rose neutral is always gonna be based around Sokodaro playing from a longer distance than waves will get hit by or much closer with lightning where waves don't really come into play. But, FR does a lot more damage. Yeah! <laughs> it gets in that... those hits. This looks extremely laggy. <laughs> yeah! I don't know how these two are dealing with it. I don't know if either one might want to do a ping check after this. But if they're fine with it, they're not getting anything, and we're just getting it on spectator too. That's true. Yeah, and it's like it's kind of hard to tell too because earlier on, it, I was kind of like, okay, maybe, maybe because Mecha Alex seems to be dropping stuff, but now it's, it's like he seems fine. So I don't know. Ah, oh, the grab. Yeah, Mecha Alex doesn't seem to know a good way out of the Sokodara pressure. Yeah, if he can get if he can get hits in when he's not doing that or just get out of it, he seems to be doing fine. But oh, no confirm on that 2B. Oh, stole the round. Though. Wow, yeah. Yeah, Grunga is actually from the same place that I am from, so... Okay, the connection is really rough. I don't know what Okay, so wanna... it, it is that bad, okay. Okay.
I don't know if they want to do any sort of ping test. I'm sure Lotus is coming in here and discussing what to do. Okay, it looks like we might be swapping hosts. So we'll see how that goes back. H. Roa the Hedgehog. <laughs> uh, yeah, because he, the Sokodayo. Like that definite, definitely out here with some Sonic stuff. Going around at Sonic speed. You can jump the Sokodaro element, but the thing is, if you try and jump on reaction and it was actually the A Sokodaro, you will get clipped on your jump startup. And also, he could just faint it, and then he can answer you with lightning, which is air unblockable. Yeah. Okay, they're in. I'm caught up. Uh, it looks like I, I, I'm caught up too, but they're talking about possibly redo the set, redoing the set from game one, because that was a really shoddy connection. So also it <laughs> it's looks my, like Mecca's gonna take the win. It also doesn't look like my game is showing up, so I might just have to re. I think I'm gonna have to rejoin. So we're just gonna have to see. Hopefully that goes through. We'll have to be... There we go. Okay. Okay. I want that win, not gonna lie. So it looks like we aren't gonna be redoing the set, so... Just gotta wait on the sink for a little bit because it wasn't showing up at first. But... That's all right. Good time to see what's going on in the world. Just gotta try and read those words really, f the words really fast, going across the screen. You know, see how. <laughs> All right, it'll be interesting to see how this changes with a better connection. Yeah, hope hopefully it goes better because I'd like to, because I think this is an interesting match. It's like I think. This could be a really interesting set. I just hope that I wouldn't want them. I wouldn't. <laughs> it would suck to have to play it on a shitty connection. Okay, I am synced. Roa just looks like he belongs on some kind of like the Bachelor show, you know. It's the open shirt. It's it's really creepy. 
I mean, the classic joke about him is that he's Vampire Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, Alex looking like he's playing neutral a lot cleaner and getting hit by a much less. Yeah, it also looks like there's a lot that, like, all that lag was got made better. Clearly, yeah, they just needed it. Looks much better now. Yeah. We're gonna take it over from this one. Yeah. Mecha Alex having to. I think Mecha Alex got adjusted to the lag and now is having to kind of readjust to that. To the Sokodara pressure. Yeah. Grunga is just not using the A version, so Alex needs to start trying to find ways to jump out. Ooh. Brought right into the corner. Ooh, the grab. Just never, this never ending pressure. Very good. Alex might take this off that one initial start. Yep. Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> And your lightning. It's one of those characters' better starters. Yeah, that, that's what I was talking about earlier. It's hard to use wave in this matchup because of Sokodara. Yeah, you can't do that. It doesn't work. It's pretty clear that Alex is not very familiar with this matchup. Yeah, does it really seem to be? Very comfortable with the Sokodados at all. 1-1? One, 1-1, one. One, one. yeah, it says 1 up there, but luckily, I'm keeping count. I'd like to see Alex try and uh, 2 2 B those uh, jump pressure resets. Bunker? Oh, the grab. Faints in the grab, yeah. More so the pressure? Grunga's been getting away with doing very similar pressure strings over and over, and Alex hasn't been challenging them that well. Alex Just trying to get, in the get some health back. Yeah, Grunga's yeah. just been able to get away with that rejump pressure. Or, uh, yeah. Rejump pressure reset. Mecha Alex is gonna have to figure out how to deal with that if he's gonna be able to take this one, I think. Don't wanna let someone have something so reliable as that. Bonker? Oh. was ready for the CDP there because he's the uh, super free. Yeah, I don't think CDP is something you can use to get out of that pressure reset because the super freeze just gives them time to react. Yeah, and you at the at the very least you're probably gonna have to shield out of coming that, but you're more likely to get punished. Oh, let's see if Alex can get started this time. Three cross in a second. 
Yeah, Grunger's just been able to play a very linear pressure game without too much interruption. Yeah, and and like Mecha Alex just has done nothing to challenge that. And if if he had and got and get some consistent pressure out, like it's it's really good, but. All right, six AA route, decent damage, lightning. Got the mash up. Alice can win with a decent connect here, but Ace Okadara, take it. Alex seems to be starting to figure it out, but I don't know if it'll be enough. It's gonna be pretty hard from this point in the set. Yeah. Counter hit on the 250 bay. I know, that's not 256 that's 6 AA, isn't it? Yeah, Grungrunt has just really figured out how, not only, like, not only with very linear pressure that he's been applying, but he's also very much figured out Mecha Alex and how he, see, like, how he thinks he's going to react in most situations, and he's really been using that. I just took a big risk there and got the payoff, but then just wasn't able to finish the combo and got punished. Yep. So that one, so Grungro will go on to Grand Finals, and Mecha Alex could still end up in Grands, could still take it back, but he's got to get through Omicron Austin first. <laughs> Oh no, people are talking about the Tsukihime anime that doesn't exist in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, wouldn't it have been nice if Tsukihime got an anime? <laughs> oh, this meme is very old. No, Vanshiro, don't start another one of those memes. We don't need another one. <laughs> Vanshiro will send you a virus, that's right. Updated. Didn't make my switchy room matter at all. Streaming is a fun and interesting experience. New experience, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> R hold on, Ricardo. Like we just like didn't <laughs> like Ricardo, but <laughs> Ro <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm all synced. Okay, I am synced as well. So, let me give them the on. Go ahead. Okay. Gonna get to see some F Viakia versus F Arcweed. No, don't pick the car alarm stage. <laughs> yeah, please do not pick the car alarm stage. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. Afiakia 
will take a lot of damage on any hit in this matchup, but just like normal, she also deals a lot. The thing about what I've noticed about these two players in this in this tournament too is that once they get their pressure going they really keep it going so i'm very curious to see how it plays that's, out that's fairly typical of fr it's not quite as typical of fr fr normally isn't a super strong pressure character he's normally more about playing uh very strong neutral and having pretty high combo damage with the execution Okay, throw it under. Oh, they're crossed up in the corner. DP's out of the. DP, yeah. Yeah, Mecha Alex is just getting slightly more confirmed. And the confirms are of better quality. Yeah, a few pits there is a dangerous spot to be. Can't really yeah. <laughs> Proper pit combo should be five or six K. Yeah, it's about six. Oh, miss confirm. Pulled him out of the corner and got the cross up. It's gonna be hard to run back. Yeah. Uh, Casey steals it. DP's out of the cross up. Let's see if Mecha and, Alex oh. can get some pressure started. Yeah, Good. wow. Yeah, right away. That's a surprisingly uh. good option. Yeah, the and. The perform on the B wave is so much more useful than it seems. Wow, that full moon Arcui damage is. <laughs> is wild it's so much i mean a lot of that is viakia being made of paper, paper. But... yeah yeah that dp is very greedy very difficult to walk for now less so now not gonna kill, but it's one more touch. Ooh, that shield was extremely dangerous. Died for the back dash in the corner. Over oh, the step. Momo Julie? Oh, doesn't go for it, just goes for a standard air combo. It's another confirm. Got hit by a raw pillar into uh tried to start the infinite, but uh dropped it after one. Mecha Alex trying to get some more pressure started. Yep. 6C! Got the oh, combo. Yeah. One more hit, really. No punish. It's kind of hard to chase that with some characters. That's a game, though. Yeah, wow. Alex on uh, set point. Yeah, Viakiha's low health is really hurting her right now. Good shield counter. Drop the combo, but... Punish the tech out. J2B! J2B's been great for Alex this whole tournament. Yeah. <laughs> Unblockable again. Oof. Alex has gone for that about four times and it's worked zero times. 
Well, you know, maybe it'll work the next time, you know? <laughs> the grab. Just below her. Tough to work there, but it's combo anyway. 6C again. Drop the One combo. more hit on Viakiha, and that'll be. Oh, oh not far. after heat, though. <laughs> Yeah, I can't do that. Right there. One more combo for Alex. It's hit out though. Could die here. And doesn't look like it. It's really one. It's, yep, it was like it's one more hit for either of them. Alright, no combo there, but. Well, not there. Yeah, you can't really do much after an air throw under as Viaka. She really needs to be using a tough ball to end her combos. Yeah. And there it is. There's the set. That it is. Take... Mecha Alex goes on to grand finals. Very exciting. Back to take it back from Grungra. All right, they're in, and let's see. Then Thorn, I don't think that arc on Logfall ever really works consistently. What happens is instead of landing the unblockable, you uh, half charge it, and people get caught by that quite frequently. But the full unblockable, people rarely get caught by. You just have so long to react. I think it's something like 52 frames or something. Yeah, it's that's so reactable. <laughs> uh... Okay, it is ground ground that side. I was. I think we have some Alex fans in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I think Alex must be one of those Ohio people. So. I mean, judging by the half emotes I'm seeing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I know Ohio has a decently strong Melty scene because during when the, when the quarantine wasn't like you know, happening, they would have monthlies at Equalizer, so... I believe I played Mecha Alex some at Frosty, but not that much. I played Hath a lot. I played, like, something like 200 games against Hath at Frosty. Oh, wow. Let's hope Mecha Alex has a better time dealing with Roa's pressure this time. Got a good shield counter? Getting his pressure going fast. Yeah. Throw. Magrunga is not looking super comfortable after this. Yeah. Although that's typically how this is gone. When Alex gets started, it goes pretty well. But then, uh, Grunga's pressure just seems to be like something Alex doesn't know how to deal with that well. Yeah. Well. 
Yeah, the delayed 6 AA in the last hit just delayed so much. Yeah. Alex is just heaven. Grung is backing out because he knows he can use Sokodaro to surprise you. Yeah. <laughs> There's no uh, DP combo there after the throw. It might have killed. Maybe Grung just wasn't sure he could get it. Alex getting started again. Nice Good throw tech. attack. More pressure, finally interrupted the the uh, Sokodara. Yeah, hopefully hopefully Mecha Alex Bunker. continues to Oh, I think he's figuring it out though. Definitely getting there. Yeah, if Mecha Alex keeps up like that, Grunga's gonna have uh -oh. to figure out something out. Oh, still fall into that bad hat to that habit though. Got out of the corner though. Yeah. Got hit. Might die for this. No. It's whoever gets the next hit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was. <laughs> An odd choice. I think that was supposed to be air throw, not shield, but I, I don't think it would have worked either way. Yeah. <laughs>
Alex did a fun little gimmick there earlier. When you uh, do a block string into 3C, it has a second hit, and if you wait a little bit and wait till that second hit happens and go into a wave, it frame traps into that wave. Good shield gunner. Bunkers out. Bunker only really needs one hit. Might yeah. die for this? No, it wasn't a uh, great con. Alex is on the board. Yeah. Three C. Oh, immediate. Reversal A Soko Dara to deal with the um, 2C knockdown because Alex didn't do it uh, JTB afterwards. I thought can chase those techs after J2C with uh, J2B, but you have to be careful and you have to react to the attack. And it doesn't and Alex hasn't done that all tournament, so I don't know if he's that comfortable with that. And that's the tournament. That's the tournament. That's the tournament. <laughs> that uh, that's it. Our winner of this tournament is Grungra, taking it out from Mecha Alex. Um, well, that was a fun. Uh, well, that I'd say that was a pretty fun tournament for Midwest Melty. Really, like, haven't didn't really. It's good we've gotten the chance to do that now you know it sounds like i've been running this this shit I, I, I there's no way i would have been able to run stream and run a bracket all on my own really the whole idea for this and the brains behind this is a uh, lotus who's here to talk a little bit so yeah, go ahead um, hello first thank both of you for for commentary and thank you for running stream jupiter um i was glad to get such a, a turnout on our first netplay weekly uh, we will definitely do more of these so thank you for turning out um yeah it'll probably run a little smoother next time since i'm just you know i'm shaking off the rust from toing i haven't done it in a while for anything but i, I think today was a success so thank you for thank you all for turning out yeah and thank you thank you for helping put together an event like this uh yeah i guess we're running this again next week. Is that the plan, Lotus? I believe so. I'll put the details somewhere if we are. Yeah, you know what? I think I think I might put together a specific Twitch channel and a Twitter for this event since I think a there's idea. a need. So I'll get I'll get to that in advertising. So yeah. I was just uh, gonna ask you to do that. You um, I. I don't have Lotus's Twitter listed on here, and I know they would hate me to put it out there, but it is blue lotus underscore FGC, and you can see mine out here at Shiny Jupiter and Ryan's uh, Ryan Kusoge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for letting me commentate. Yeah, thank you. For We're glad to have yeah, you, yeah. and thank you for bringing your knowledge, because I'm very because it, it's very easy to tell that I'm new to commentating, and I don't have as much game knowledge that i can spout out so this is thank all you right. for being here all right have a good night gamers and join us next week for some more midwest modem melty